So one of the best things about going camping is just getting away from everything. You, we get away from electronics, TVs, computers, cell phones, stuff like that. But a lot of times places we go don't have good cell phone service or zero cell phone service. And we kind of need a place where we can get to. And sometimes my wife and I will have to drive real far down miles down the highway just to get cell phone service so we can call home and check on our teenage kids at home. And you know, you, you kind of need service a lot of times when you're out camping. So today we're gonna fix that. We're gonna install install the high boost vehicle cell phone booster kit and we're going to install it on the kayak camping trailer now this is swappable so we're going to put it on the trailer for now so when we're taking the trailer out camping we'll have cell phone service wherever we're at and i'll be able to swap this to the truck whenever we want to just take the overland go up to tennessee mountains or something like that and just the truck we'll have cell phone service there too so today i'm going to unbox this kit i'm going to show you guys how it works and we're going to get it installed on the kayak camping trailer y'all stick around All right, what's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's TJ. Welcome to Kayak USA. Today, like I said, we are definitely gonna be installing the high boost kit. We're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna show you guys how it works. But real quick, I wanna turn the camera around. I installed some stuff on the trailer this week, kind of off camera, some stuff that needed to be done before we could install this. And I wanna show you that real quick so you didn't miss out on anything. And then we'll get into the install. All right, so you can see what I've done already. Right up front, I added a marine battery box right on the front, and it's got a 12 volt deep cycle marine battery in it. It's uh, one that we had for an RV. I just bought it, it was brand new. So I decided to put it on the trailer. We'll get some good use out of it. Now, look at this, we can go up and down with the trailer tongue. It's not connected to the truck. We don't have to have it connected now. We got a little light up under there and everything was ran to this seven pin box that we installed a few videos back. And I, what I done is I, I went ahead and installed this if you can see it here, it's a 12 volt cigarette lighter port. And I went ahead and installed it straight off the box. That way we could have power for hooking up this high boost kit. It was a super install, you know, that, that box is where our power's at, black and red wires. All we did was run it through the side, mount it up to the wires, and now we got a place to plug stuff up. I'm gonna be adding more power throughout the trailer in the next video. Where's that box at I got? I got a box, here it is. I'll go ahead and show it to you. This little sneak peek of the next video if you guys want to see it. But I picked up this little 1800 series Apache box. It's kind of like a little Plano box. And I plan on mounting it on the side of the trailer right in here somewhere. And it's going to contain switches and it's going to control all the lights stuff and USB ports and lights and stuff like that that we put on the trailer later. But that's going to be in an upcoming video. That's not today's video. Also, if you missed last week, check that carpet out. It looks amazing in here. So if you missed last week's video, we deleted the boat runners that I had in here and I installed some really thick padding up under this. It's marine grade bass boat uh, memory foam pad. And that is 24 ounce gunmetal gray bass boat carpet we installed and it turned out great. Check out the diamond plate on the end. If you missed that video, I'll link it right in here somewhere. You guys can check it out. But everything's ready to go now for us to unbox and hook up that high boost kit because we'll be able to plug it up right here we're going to mount the antenna on the trailer get everything hooked up and then we'll try it out and see how well it works so there's a few different brands of these on the market and there's a lot of misconceptions about these cell phone booster kits out there i do want to put out there that these do not create a cell phone signal out of nothing you have to have something but sometimes your phone will show one bar when you actually have no bars or sometimes it'll show one when you or two when you only have one bar and stuff like that if there's a signal in the air that can be found this will boost the signal as long as you're close enough to the unit i just want to put that out there before we unbox it so now i'm going to unbox it we're going to show you everything that comes in it so when you order this one they've got a few different kinds this one is the uh, high boost travel 4g 2.0 it says it works with 3g and 4g lte now i have found some stuff you can't quote me on this on this but i found some stuff online that as the 5g is getting bigger that this is working for people on 5g but it says 4g on the box so that's how i'm gonna put it out there to you guys so it's 4g that's what my phone is and it just boosts the signal so when you get it it'll just come in a box like this it doesn't weigh anything at all you guys see that? Let me turn the camera down. So when you get it, you unbox it. 
This is what it's gonna come with. It comes with a full installation guide, which is super easy. It's got the manual. It also comes with an app that you download and it walks you through the installation on the app and you can check your signal and stuff. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. But it comes with a antenna, antenna mounts, and this antenna has a spring on it. And the, they have different ones. The one for the car has like a small one. I think it's magnetic that you can just stick on the roof of your car. But this is for the big truck. This is the one that I told them I wanted. And this should get a good signal out over my truck and over the trailer, wherever I have it mounted. So, and it's rubber too. So, and it's also the same color as my truck. So that's kind of cool. But it comes with the antenna, it comes with the mounting hardware. This is the power wire, it's USB. So if you've got a USB plug in your vehicle or wherever you're hooking this up, you can just plug it straight to there. But it also comes with this adapter that you plug into a cigarette lighter port, which is great for us because that's what I've got installed on the truck on the trailer now. So we'll be able to just plug this thing up, plug it in there, and we'll have power to the box. And the way it works is you got your main box. This is where your antenna, your power, and your car inside antenna hooks to. And everything runs straight to this box right here. This will mount inside of the, tra the trailer box. And then this, we can actually just run up into the tent or run it over to, it's got a pretty long cord on it. So we'll be able to run this over to the table where we're camping or whatever, wherever we need the boost of service, we'll be able to run this too. If you're putting it in your vehicle, you kind of want this to be up in between your seats or somewhere close where you keep your phone and it'll boost your service right there. So that is the inside antenna, the outside antenna, your booster box, and your antenna cable. This hooks to the main antenna on the outside and runs into the box. And it even comes with this thick double-sided sticky rubber. And this is made to put the stuff in place. But today I'm just gonna mount this straight to the inside of the box and I'll probably do it with screws because it's got the four holes on each corner. So I'll probably just mount this straight to the inside of the box and not use this. I'll save this for whenever we put it in my truck because then we can just put this in the floor beside the seat or something like that. But that's all it comes with. It's not complicated at all. It even tells you on the sides and it's clean. I mean, it actually looks really nice and it tells you on the sides if I can Maybe it'll zoom in and show you. It's got everything labeled. So you know where everything goes. Everything's packed really well. And you can't mess up and put stuff in the wrong place. So this says the outdoor antenna. That means that's this cable. This is gonna run to our big gray antenna. This one says indoor antenna. And this one is gonna run to this antenna right here. Super easy. You can't mess it up, I promise, guys. So now let's go over to the box. Mount the antenna first and we might have to drill a little hole on the back side of the box to run everything, and then it'll be done. Then we'll check and see how much it boosts the service because my service in the garage kind of sucks. All right, so my plan is, I've got this crossbar right here where my uh, ramps go. I, get, I keep my ramps for the four wheeler and the motorcycle stored up here in this little area I've made. And my plan is to just mount this antenna dead center in the middle of my rack. Uh, that way it's kind of at the highest point and when our tent's on here, it won't interfere with the tent because it's all, the tent, I think, comes back in here somewhere. So I'll have a good foot away from it and it'll get it up pretty high, like the highest point besides when the tent's open on this trailer that we can get it. And then we can just drop the cable straight down. I'll put a grommet, we'll drill a hole in the back of the box. I'll put a grommet in there and that's where we'll run our wires. And plus the tent has the little opening on the side. So when we're in the tent and we want that extra signal, we'll be able to drop the wire for our inside antenna straight down out there, come straight in here and plug it straight to our box. So it comes with these U-bolts. So if you want to mount this to like a roof rack on your truck, this will just go right around the roof rack or your SUV or wherever you're mounting it. But I think what I'm going to do is just mount it. It's got the four bolt holes, so you can use these U-bolts to go through it and rack it around. And, you know, we could just go around the square tubing without drilling holes. But I think what I want to do is center this up in the middle. I'm gonna drill a couple of holes and just screw it straight to it. That way it'll be mounted kind of permanently. We won't have to worry about the U-bolts getting loose on us or anything. And I can just screw it straight in right there. Everything will be super easy at that point. We'll just hook up the wires and install the box on the inside of the, the tone box. So, so I'm just gonna mark my dead center so that the, that's exactly five feet. So at two and a half feet, should be dead center, which is gonna be right in there. I'm just gonna center the antenna up with my dead center mark.
All right, I got that thing mounted dead center. It's hard to see in here, I think, but you can see I just used the top two mounting holes with self-tapping screws, and now she is installed. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna open up the box, and I think I'm gonna mount the big box right on the wall, right next to the, the seven pin box here, and then we'll drill a hole right at the back of the box, and I've got these rubber grommets right here and we'll put one of these in here. And I'm gonna have everything linked in the video description that I use today, just like I always do. But I got, that might be my biggest one. Hopefully we can fit both wires straight through that one right there. I'm out of my big one. I've gotta get some more of these things. But we'll put that grommet in the back of the box and get it installed. so loud in that box. All right, I realize now that shot kind of sucked from me installing it, so I'll show you how it looks real quick. It'll focus, come on, focus, there it goes. So I just mounted it straight to the wall, right next to our 12 volt USB port, or it will be, it's a cigarette lighter port right now. And I think we're gonna run the antenna cable, the outside antenna cable. I'm using my light here to show you. I'm gonna come in that side wall right there, and we'll just be able to pull the cord across the top of the seven pin box and plug it right into, this is the outdoor side, and this is our indoor side. So it should be a pretty clean install. Now here's our inside antenna. Now what we'll do when we go camping is I'll run it through this same grommet hole with this antenna and we'll hook it up inside the tent or at the table, wherever we're at that we wanna boost our service. But for today, for the video purpose, I'm just gonna plug it straight in so we can test this thing out. So like I said earlier, it comes with this little uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter to dual USBs. We'll plug that into our cigarette lighter port and it turns blue. I don't know if you can see it. Let me show you real quick. It's got like this blue ring around it. So you know that it's got power. Then here's our box. That's our out antenna, our in antenna. And right now I just got it kind of laying up here on our ramps and we'll test it out real quick. So let me plug the power up real quick. There we go. Our lights are lighting up. Lights are flashing. So this is also Bluetooth. So now we'll connect our app and get it registered and then we'll check our service. All right, so everything is hooked up. I had to take a minute to look. Let's see if I can show you on my phone here. It gives you these gauges and it tells you, see where it says status normal and above that it it'll say good, poor or super. And now it says super. So it's actually boosted my signal in my shop, which I usually have zero bars or one bar in here. I have to connect to Wi-Fi. But right now I disconnected from Wi-Fi to see if it would give me service. And you can see there, I got two bars now from no bars in my shop. All right, so I noticed that I had the antennas too close to each other and it was causing a red light to flash on the high boost box. So I went and looked it up and all that red light flashing means is I had the antennas right next to each other. Once I pulled it apart and I pulled it over here to like where we would have it in the tent, it went back to a solid blue. I checked my phone and it started boosting my signal again. So just keep that in mind if you install one of these Make sure the antennas aren't right beside each other. Usually they're not. If it's in your car, this will be inside the car and that'll be outside, of course, on the back of your truck or whatever. But you can see the cord for the inside antenna is super long. So we'll be able to pull it over to the picnic table or whatever we're doing, wherever we're camping and set it beside our cell phone to boost our service. This thing's gonna come in handy. I'm gonna put it through its paces this winter. So just keep watching the videos, keep following along and I'll update you guys on how this thing does. If you are interested in checking these guys out, 
I'll have it linked in the video description below. Click that link and use promo code KAYAKUSA at checkout, and I think it'll save you 10% on any model. So if you get the one for the car, SUV, whatever, the one with the little magnet antenna, they all work the same, and it, it'll save you some money if you use the promo code. So check it out, use the promo code. If you're new here and you hadn't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. We are building an ultimate kayak camping adventure trailer right now. It's coming along great. I've got a lot of cool stuff coming for it. Catch me every Thursday at two o'clock and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.